Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not date or time specific. So whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, could be your message at that time. Welcome all cross watchers for Leo. Oh, I love seeing the line there on the bottom. Um, and for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. We are just past the new moon in Gemini, but it's not too late to check out the reading I uploaded the other day. Um, see if any messages come through for you. And um, we're also one week into the month. So I did the June 2024 Love Tarot Monthly Energy Update reading and where I take the month week by week, both astrologically and in the tarot spread. So go check that out if you've missed it. I am pulling from Priestess of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what comes through for Malios. Card 45, Brilliant Beliefs luminous life force and personal power this is talking about um your beliefs and i love the phrase luminous life force you um are the sign that is ruled by the sun where we get life force energy so it just feels like there's something coming in here for you um focusing on your beliefs in yourself your beliefs in the path that you're walking um, and drawing off that life force energy to support you. Nice message. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Here we go for Leo. Ooh, wow, Ten of Pentacles. This looks good. <laughs> and there's Leo energy. Um, so there is a challenge here, and it could be, it's interesting, it, it could be, have something to do with your brilliant beliefs um, around your personal power to affect the, um, the, the vision of the future that you want. Um, remember the card that's crossing the Ten of Pentacles is the Strength card, which means that there may be like a crisis of confidence here. Um, that you may be trying to gather up your strength, your courage, and your confidence to overcome the obstacles to some vision you have of the future in your connection. Wow, so brilliant beliefs, right? Okay, here we go. Knight of Wands and your unconscious awareness. This is a passionate return in the past. Ace of Cups, your love of your life or the love of a lifetime here. Queen of Pentacles, yes. That's you, a feminine archetype of a life partner, um, sort of in your conscious awareness, taking on that role. Four of Cups in the near future. Um, well, there could be like some, some disillusionment with the whole process, maybe feeling too much emotional distance. We'll check it out with the clarifiers. This is an abbreviated Celtic cross. I do more in the extended. So let's see what we get here. Two of Wands, Seven of Cups, right? What's happening? What's the path forward? Um, really needing to kind of, this is a crossroads moment for you here, um, Leo, or whoever you are watching. Um, with regard to some choices and decisions you have to make, about the path forward. Uh, that was the theme, by the way, of, um, I think it was, hold on while I have you here. Um, yeah, that was the focus of the new moon reading was um, having a heart to heart about the path forward with your beloved. So what I'm seeing here that rings true is some confusion, uh, maybe a little emotional overwhelm, a lot to process, maybe a lot of options. What do I do? What do I decide? Um, so to me, the Two of Swords is sort of an inner search for clarity, for the meaning and the purpose of the decision that you're making here and the best way to proceed. But it is about the future. What What's on the horizon here? Wow. Okay. Knight of Wands and your unconscious awareness. What are you processing internally? Oh, look at this. Leo, there you are again. Or if you're here as a cross watcher, lots of confirmation for the Leo energy in your um, connection. 
powerful. So it's being processed internally and remember it can come, the whole thing can come through reverse. So this could be speaking to you if you are a cross watcher about your connection with a Leo. So I like to remind you of that. Um, yeah, I feel like it's all about the timing, um, right? We belong together is the timing right for this passionate return, bring, reigniting the torch of passion, bringing in the happiness, a sense of bliss. Um, it feels like your confidence may be lagging right now in a conscious way, but unconsciously what you're processing feels pretty powerful, pretty optimistic actually. So let's look at the, which is good. At, let's look at the Ace of Cups. It would be not great if it was the other way around because if you have, you know, all this uh, false bravado, you know, all the confidence in the world, but then internally you, you're not buying into your, you know, not picking up what you're laying down. That's different. This is the reverse of that. So what I like to see here is that you're uncertain and, and choices need to be made and it can be cute, confusing and it can kind of tank our confidence, but internally, um, what I see here is is an, a positive outlook, a reminder of what brings you happiness in this connection, about the destiny of it all, the fate of it all. So let's see the Ace of Cups. In the past, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. So you were on the verge of kind of having it all here, right? I feel like big offer came in from the love of your life. So whenever this happened, pentacles move slow. So this could be a while ago, you know, lots of good back and forth energy, generosity. Yes, I'm invested a hundred, a hundred. And yet this person, whoever it is, walked away. You might've walked away from each other. Um, it'll be different for each one of you because it's a general reading, not a private reading. So you have to take it as it speaks to you. But I feel like everything was right there. You had it in your grasp and then it sort of drifted out of you. Ugh. So that's why we have the confusion, the overwhelm, the, I don't know what my options are. I'm going to have to, you know, get clear about it because I have a path to choose and a decision to make. And I see what you want on an internal level, but it isn't matching up in reality. So let's look at the Queen of Pentacles in your conscious awareness. In your heart of hearts, this is what you want. You want this connection, the happily ever after, a, re a, a restoring of the balance and harmony, possibly even speaking to themes of marriage. Queen of Pentacles, Justice, Ten of Pentacles, all sort of um, allude to that kind of uh, commitment. So it looks here also like you're open to receiving uh, a sincere message as well. But I feel like in your heart of hearts is where we're focused now. Um, if that word came in from someone else that they feel the same and you took it as sincere, that would be the icing on the cake. That would really restore the balance. So consciously, you're pretty optimistic here um, in terms of how you're envisioning your role, what you have to give, what you can bring to the table. Let's see the Four of Cups in the near future. Oh my goodness. I'm sort of seeing um, I'm almost feeling the four of cups reversed and that's a good thing because what's clear this is more Leo energy in the king of wands by the way but we have right this sort of committed energy coming in almost as if it's being orchestrated behind the scenes by this king of wands figure right? Who, and the king of wands, make no mistake, you know, in reversed energy can kind of be the unavailable lover, which would bring in some emotional distance, some sadness, some feelings of rejection, but I'm not seeing it that way. I'm seeing like the king of wands behind the scene is, you know, kind of stepping into the, the, the field of vision to say, 
I know what I want. I'm no longer going to hesitate. So it's almost as if you can't see it yet. You can't see this Ace of Cups yet coming back into the viewfinder, right? <laughs> it's like, you remember when we were kids? Well, I remember when I was a kid and you had the little, you put your eyes up to this little viewfinder and you would click it and you would see the picture sort of come into full focus. That's what I'm seeing here. So what's feeling very disappointing and disenchanting at first shifts. Um, it is about this connection. It is about um, committed energy or someone who's showing up on some level more serious about the connection. Whoops. And that would be your King of Wands. So especially for those of you who are cross watchers, um, this is a extra confirmation for you that something is being worked out behind the scenes. So what I want to say is in your unconscious awareness with this Knight of Wands, which is almost like a call, um, right? Like you're open to the timing of their return. Keep in that frame of mind. Keep focusing on that. It is something that may you may be manifesting, especially because this reading feels very connected to the new moon reading I just did a couple days ago. So you may want to check that out um, and then draw off that energy because what I see coming towards you, um, you may you may not see it coming. But if you stay in the energy of what you're open to in a positive way, sincerely from your heart, wanting the happily ever after, wanting this passionate return, wanting your the love of your life to come back, then that's what I'm seeing play out behind the scenes. We'll get more about that from um, the extended. So what I'm going to do right now is give you the astrology and then uh, there are links in the description box below to take you to the extended and we're focusing on our king of wands here and what i'm going to look at is how they're approaching this situation both from their higher vibration and their lower vibration their true feelings for you their intentions toward you hidden energy something they don't want you to see but could be helpful to know and um, a message that they may have for you. So that's what we're gonna do in the extended and the links are below for that. Please, if, if this has spoken to you, resonated for you, gotten your attention, been helpful or insightful in some way, please subscribe below and join us more regularly by clicking the little notification bell, like and share as you feel called to do. This is the only way I can continue to be here on this platform is if you support me in that way. Okay, here we go. We have the strength card is Leo. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands is some Sag energy, as is the Wheel of Fortune, because that is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. The Sun is the Sun, but rules Leo. We have the Queen of Pentacles, some Capricorn there. Justice is Libra. Hierophant is Taurus. And the King of Wands is Leo. That is what I have beautiful reading for you. Um, I'm heading to the extended. I'll see you there. Bye for now.